Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk, and we've got an Operation T22 video, guys. Operation T22. I wanted to go a little bit over my setup and my crew, and then we're going to look at a, a breakout game. You know, when you get a brand new tank and get her set up, you get rolling, and event, there's that breakout game, you know? So we're going to show you the, the breakout game in the T22. Now, Everybody knows my opinion of the T-22. I was not uh, smart enough, nor clever enough, uh, nor noble enough to have cheated for it back in the past. And I think that's always weighed down my soul a little bit. So I just bided my time until I could get it the old-fashioned way, which is to pay way too much money for it, which was 100 million credits. As you can see, I'm poor now with only 401,000 credits to my name. But I do have the vaunted T-22, probably the, the most ethical and virtuous tank in the game, if you think about it. You could have either bought it for millions and millions of credits or cheated for it. That, you know, that is, uh, that is not something that can be said about a lot of tanks. You know what I'm saying? So, as Vice Grip Garage Guy says, I did the right thing. And I bought it. And now I'm going to set this thing up in what I think is the perfect setup, which I've talked about before, because I've decided to kind of test out some theories in the world of tanks. And one of them is the Scout Counter Scout Medium. And as you're going to see in this video that's coming up, I sort of, I've met another milestone perhaps, and maybe a slight change in the journey. You no, know, it is the journey and not the destination, my friends. So while I'm not rocking a great win rate here at 44%, things are getting better. So it's, it's the journey. It's about learning. It's about getting better in incremental steps. And I think that signpost is perhaps there's some opportunities for arty hunting. Okay, so we're going to delve into that a little bit. And that was on my list of things to look at with the T22 uh, as well as uh, its relative pros and cons on on dive bombing coming off of cliffs the the ability of it to potentially ram a mouse to death potentially with the with the right setup that's on the list uh, potentially also looking at the perfect consumable setup and starting off with uh, small fire extinguisher small fire extinguisher small fire extinguisher as what i think is maybe a, a baseline great way to set up at least initially but so what I've done here is I've, I've gone really streamlined I don't want anything's hanging I don't want anything hanging me down I don't want any heavy extra equipment I don't want to have to necessarily think about all of the other intricacies of the game I just want a very pure t22 experience and to take that pureness right this is a pure tank it is unsullied right by uh, by anything that may have happened in the past so I'm going to take this very pure tank, and you can see I've set up a little bit of a little heart, right? And that's the scout getting rammed by the T-22. Okay, so that's the plan. I have a purple purple head, right? Why wouldn't I? And a fish or cut bait. And then, of course, there's a, a I don't know, what is that guy? The, the gingerbread guy on the back. So, I mean, just a setup to strike fear into the hearts of the enemy. Also, you'll notice that uh, tomatoes are... Manning this, instead of humans, I've decided to use vegetables. Now, these are probably the most violent vegetables you can find in the game, is the tomato right there. And I started them off at 0% because, again, streamlining the experience. It's the journey. I'm, I'm going to take this tank from, from where it is now into greatness. All right, so that's my setup. Also, I, of course, I didn't mention. I think uh, HE is the way to go on this tank. Seriously, so we are gonna we're gonna do some HE. All right, let's get into the game and uh, check out the breakout game, Operation T22. Remember that there, this is only happening once a day. That I don't want to. I don't want to, if I'm honest, ruin the meta of the game to to have too powerful of of a of a wonderful ethical tank like this out there. I, I, I don't want to ruin everyone else's experience by absolute domination. All right, let's check out this game. Well, all right, here we are, T-22 on Meinsdorf. All right, Himmel's Mines. Top tier. That's a good thing for a tier 10. 
especially if you're seeing tier eights in a three tier battle, fantastic. Also, we have a 279E on our team. So this is looking like pure domination, a T22, 279E, just chalk it up as a win right off the bat. There's no way the other team can win. Let's go get that hill. We'll play the game anyway, even though really, uh, if probably if you looked at XVM, we would have you know a 905% chance to win. So really, this should just put us in the W column, send the other guys home, give us each four or five kills, and, uh, and call it good. You know, the thing I want to say here is uh, obviously the enemy team saw the, the makeup. They saw the T-22, the mighty T-22, and the 279E on the other team. And more than likely had a small discussion about that on their side and said, well, there's really no reason to try to go after the hill. Why, why would you basically the T22 is going to dominate it. So let's just go ahead and not do it. But the patent takes a little peek and gets chased away pretty quickly. The platoon of Lorraine 40 T's and the already starts raining down. Now there is three artillery in this game, but you can see that just, that little shift is how I get away from Artie every time. They, they just, you know, they can't quite, a little shift there, a little tick that I have from drinking too much coffee or whatever, but it does serve the purpose of making sure that I never get hit by Artie in the T-22. You know, I'm considering potentially I should have put Chuck in the T-22, but then it wouldn't be pure potato or pure tomato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato, whatever, you know, however you want to run your T-22. Uh, I prefer tomatoes because I think they're powerful. So just taking some quick looks, look at this pattern running away. So I'm just going to give them a little, hey, here I am. See, just letting you know, T 41 hit points. See, there's another little bit of damage there on him and cranking up the assist right off the bat, all according to plan. So pretty much perfectly. That wasn't a direct hit. I told. I don't know if you saw that. The little. Uh, I just kind of shifted left on the hole and a wiggle on the turret to the right, and then uh, you press K, and pretty much it misses. So I don't know why they're doing this whole arty thing, trying to warn you. It's just a shift, <clears throat> shift hole, shift turret, which throws off the enemy aim, and then press K, and you don't get hit directly, which is pretty beautiful. So I'm just going to take a look here. You know, I'm still working on my vision. Like I said, it's a, it's a journey. All right. It's not about the destination. So eventually my crew will be able to see further than their nose or even be able to maybe see their hand if they put it up in front of it. But right now that's, you know, that's not where we are. And again, if I had all that, I don't, I don't even know why you would do that because it'd be too powerful. So we'll just come over here and we'll say, Hey, what's happening, dude. And the 705 is like, Oh my gosh, you know, look out, there's a T-22 up there, and that's just a warning shot, right? So another miss. I, again, notice I was left shifting, slight turret movement K, and uh, the, the RD is going to miss. Now, I've noted that the RD is in that corner, and he's, he's kind of starting to irritate me now. And this is where I started thinking about, you know, this is a grand experiment, this journey that I'm on in the T-22, the most ethical tank in the game. And... I thought, well, wait a minute, perhaps, because I am shooting HE, and as everybody knows, HE is dominant against light-skinned tanks, much like the WT right there. So perhaps well, I need to add to my list of things that this T-22 will hunt and destroy, not just scouts, because as you know, there's no scouts in this game, really. Artie, right? Am I right? I mean, I sensed he was there. I had an idea. Uh, I knew pretty much immediately when he was going to appear. I fired 390 pin, and that's that's when I knew. I was starting to think about it, and that's when I knew that holy cow, we have something here, folks. We have we have potentially one of the more dominant already killing tanks in the game. Look, oh geez. So looking at my setup, you know, pure HE, completely streamlined tank, tomato crew. Okay, pure tomato crew, no chuck, no extra commanders, no, you know, you don't want to get bogged down with skills. Thing is, if you have to start picking skills, you have to decide, which means that some skills don't get picked, right? Some skills just don't get picked. So if you don't have any skills, then you don't, you don't have to decide and then you're not throwing away good skills, right? Because if you pick a skill, some other good skill is probably not being used, which I think you understand, you know, it just, it, that's not a way to do it. It really isn't. 
So try not to try not to force yourself to pick skills and lose other skills that you can't pick, especially if you're running a, a sweet T22 like this. Now we have a 705A right there, and this is where another another idea kind of came to mind. You know, I like to dive bomb and things, and I thought, well, I wonder how good the T22 is at dive bombing things. And right now, I'm starting to try to figure that out. Now, how do I? Except that the 705 ended up dying to a, a T49, which is an embarrassing way for a 705A to die, if you think about it. You know what I'm saying? So I think the other two already are probably in that corner. The T49 has cleared out the corner over there where I dominantly destroyed one of the artillery. And now I'm just kind of waiting up here and I thought to myself, well, maybe, maybe I need to get a little mobile in the old T22 uh, domination machine. I still have 44 HE shells, so plenty of, of rounds to put down range. And what, should I shoot him in the turret or the, uh, sorry, the tracks? I don't know. We'll just give him a little poke. Boom. There we go. So a little thump on him and some spotting damage. Very nice. Up to 652. So we are over a thousand combined folks at this point, which for this T22, this early in my journey is pretty good. And there's another 229. So now we're really cranking it out to about 1200. And look at the mobility on this thing. When it's streamlined, when you're not bogged down with equipment and accessories uh, all the extra skill weight you know when your, your crew starts to get all those extra skills their weight increases and so you're fast you're just faster than most tanks catching up to the t49 if you think about it now these i thought really at the end of the day here in the beginning of this sequence and also right now that those two would just go in and get some hit points right because they're there first and that well it's i guess i'll have to move on to another day and practice my arty hunting because more than likely these these brave souls are just going to go get some out of these two right uh, well you know never underestimate the the silliness of your own team i guess at the end of the day so i'm just going to drive her right in and get my uh, do here we'll just shoot him well, boom that and spin around and let's check out the ramming capabilities we'll get a little ram a lama ding dang we'll just kind of like dunk and then we'll just fire and look at that 34, 50, or 53, 55. And that's three, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, that is three arty kills. There's a reward for that. It's called the uh, Loser Crusher Award or something like that. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, I love you, arty guys. Now let's, let's practice a little more ramming. And this time I'm thinking, well, these guys, <clears throat> these guys don't deserve to kill because they had a chance at that already, and they just sat behind a building like a couple Muppets. So I'm just going to rage in here against this g -Sor. There he is. We'll just come around this corner, take a look at him, and I mean, kill. Fourth ki four kills, folks. Four, four kills, 1,532 damage, 881 assists. Uh, math and public, that is over 2,000 combined. Uh-oh. I don't want to do that. We just want to do that. There we go. That is over 2,000 combined getting uh close to 3000 uh if you're not if you're not bothered by rounding up from low to high right so you know 23 2400 and we'll just you know, instead of going down to 2000 we'll just round up to 3000 and we'll call it 3000 combined on that I'll show you the plates after we make some money so streamlined t22 not weighed down by any kind of equipment or silliness uh, i don't i'm not forced into making decisions on skills i just accept that it's a brand new crew of dominant tomatoes and i think you can see the possibilities can you not see the journey laid out in front of us from here the destination is still over the horizon so far away but the, the pathway uh, to domination is certainly laid out in front of gingerbread T22 heart tank. I think you can see it. And this game was that breakout game that's going to show the world, right? We're going we're gonna to stun the world with the T22 here. All right. Well, the cat's meowing outside the, the window there probably heard the death and destruction from the T-22 and like many predators is drawn to that. So trying to get into the room here. I'm going to leave you guys with this. Just have a think about it. Really recommend you go back and, and watch it again because the things you're going to learn out of this video, you probably missed a lot of the little nuances and perhaps I, I also 
did not articulate them correctly in, in some places, or we could expand in the discussion down in the comments. If you guys have any ideas for how to actually make the Streamline T22 better, I don't, I don't really know how any of you really could. I think I've, I think I've kind of set it up as perfect as possible. But you know, on the off chance that uh, one of you has some kind of salient uh, uh, comment, then go ahead and you know type it down there, and I'll I'll look at it if I get to it, kind of thing. But really appreciate you guys coming by. Thanks for the support. And look for another another Operation T22 video when I get one. You know, you you don't just you don't just have a game like this every day, folks. So when I get one, we'll go ahead and put it out there. And, and uh, the cat's been coming more insistent, so I'm gonna have to go because I've been called. That's all I've got. We'll see you guys later.